Moving forward. Genesis 22, 16 says, By myself I have sworn, says Yahweh, because you have done this thing, you have not withheld your son. What is that called? Is that the obedience part or the faith part? Aha, uh -huh, tricked you. Thank you. It is both. Because in the Hebraic thought process, there is no such thing as a difference between your faith and your works. Because in Hebraic thought, in biblical thought, a work done without faith is not a work. Okay? Blessing I will bless upon you. Multiply and I will multiply your descendants as the stars of the heavens of the sand which is on the seashore and your descendants shall possess the gate of your enemy. Here comes the blessing. So now the pattern of Israel is twofold. This is the first time that we're starting to develop a pattern of living and the picture of the people, of the person. The persona, the personality of Israel, if you will, okay? And we're going to see that as we walk through the scriptures, we're going to see the pattern, which is the way of life, and what they look like, okay? From, Ab from Abraham to Isaac, moving through it. Genesis 26, 4, I will make your descendants multiply as the stars of the heaven. I will give you the descendants of the lands, and in your seed all the nations of the earth shall be blessed. So we're starting to see the personas starting to come out that Israel is a blessed people. Okay? Move forward. From Joseph, excuse me, from Jacob to Israel. And he said, your name shall no longer be called Jacob. Now remember, he's wrestling with the angel, right? Uh, his brother, is, is, he hasn't seen in 25 years, is, is coming after him. Jacob... Is, is more nervous than he's ever been in his life. Probably more nervous than when he woke up from, his, from, from marrying Leah, okay? <laughs> That's pretty nervous. So what's he do? He sends everybody ahead of him, okay? Slow him down a little bit. Let's appease him for a little bit. And Jacob wrestles with an angel that night. And he wins. And he, and he says, I'm not letting you go, angel, until you bless me. And so what did, what, did, what did the angel do? Did he give him a million dollars? Hallelujah, we got a clicker. <laughs> give her a hand. Thank you. He changed his name. This is key. The highest blessing that Yahweh could ever give mankind is his name. Amen. He changed the name. When you change the name, you change the mission. So if you don't know your name, you don't know your mission. Anybody adopted in here? Okay. Did you know it early on or did you find out later? Okay, anybody else been adopted in here that found out later on? You didn't know? You found out later on? When someone's adopted and they find out later on in life that they're adopted, what do you think the natural inclination is to do? Is it just to go, well, I guess I'm adopted. Well, that's interesting. I'll just go on with my life. You want to find out everything about your ancestry. You go back to find out who you are. And many times... That road always leads you to your Father. Remember that. That's why it's key to understand who you are in the Messiah. From least to, gr to greatest, Jacob's name was one who grabs the heel, the subplanter. That's a fancy name for pull the rug out from someone's foot. Okay? A deceiver to usurp, least in household. He gets changed to Israel. One who rules with God through struggling with God, head of household. Did you catch what I just said? Yes. You cannot rule with God if you do not struggle with God. There is no easy way. Israel had 12 sons by four different wives. Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah was the, was the fourth born. Dan, Naphtali, Gad. Asher, Issachar, Zebulun, Joseph, and Benjamin. Okay? The two that we're going to look at is Judah and Joseph. 
The firstborn blessing, something you need to understand about the firstborn blessing is this. It, there is twofold. There is a kingship, preeminence, head of household, priestly ble- blessing that went to the firstborn. And then there is also this, the, the, uh, the double portion blessing, double material portion. Because the firstborn was the one required to take care of the rest of the home, the rest of the family. If one of the other brothers died, he was in charge of taking care of the widow, his sister-in-law. Okay? He, he had the material blessing because his job was to take care of the family's shortcomings. Okay? The interesting thing about this blessing, it's the only blessing in the Bible that I know of, that the firstborn blessing was split. That Jacob decided, under, I believe, divine inspiration, to separate the firstborn blessing. Instead of giving it all to one person, like he had, he split it. And he gave the firstborn blessing of preeminence to Judah, which was the true firstborn, uh, because the first three messed up. How many realize lineage and bloodline means nothing? We have man's firstborn, and we have his, his firstborn. Okay? So Judah was, was the next in line. So he gets the preeminent blessing. Judah, you are he whom your brothers shall praise. Your hand shall be on the neck of your enemies. Your father's children shall bow down before you. Judah is a lion's whelp. From the prey, my son, you have gone up. He bows down. He lies down as a lion. And as a lion, who shall rouse him? Now, moving to the political Israel today, I dare anyone to mess with the nation of Israel. If you rouse that lion, she will roar. The blessing for Judah, 49.10. The scepter shall not depart from Judah. Something very interesting here. You're going to see prophecy unfold right before your eyes. Nor a lawgiver from between his feet. The scepter is the rod of authority. Until Shiloh comes. Shiloh is the Messiah. This is very important for you to understand. Judah, the tribe of Judah, was given the priestly authority over the rest of the clan, the rest of the tribes, and the law until the Messiah came. Now, Judah today does not understand that. They believe they still have that priestly authority and that, that priestly and that preeminence. Even some in the movement, the Messianic movement, that our Jews believe they still have that preeminence, that superior, that superiority. I'm here to submit to you there is not one tribe that is over one another. We are all the same. We are all brothers. Judah had the preeminence of the priesthood until the Messiah, and then the Messiah took over as the priest. Okay? It doesn't lower Judah whatsoever. There's much to learn from our older brother. It's a role that's changed. Joseph is a fruitful bow. Now let's move on to the blessing of Joseph. The double portion went to Joseph. Now Joseph was the favorite of Jacob. Why? Because he was the firstborn of Rachel, and Rachel was the love of his life. So he moves the firstborn blessing to Joseph, who's been in Egypt all this time, ruling Egypt, hidden. A fruitful bow by the well, his branches run over the wall. The archers have bitterly grieved him, shot at him, and hated him. But his bow remains his strength, and the arms of his hands were made strong by the hands of the mighty God of Jacob. From there is the shepherd, the stone of Israel. By the God of your Father who will help you, and by the Almighty who will bless you with blessings of heaven above, blessings of the deep that lies beneath, blessings of the breasts of the womb, the blessings of your Father have excelled the blessings of my ancestors. My friends, do you remember the blessing that was given to Isaac? The stars will be your descendants. How can you go beyond that? But that's what he's saying. Your descendants will be greater than any blessing that has ever come to mankind since. Up to the utmost bound of the everlasting hills, they shall be on the head of Jophus, and all the crown on the head of him was separate from his brothers. The blessing continues in Genesis 48, 19. It says, but his father, this goes to Manasseh. So now Joseph comes with his two sons, Manasseh and Ephraim, that are born in Egypt. And Jacob, at the end of his life, goes and he goes to lay his right hand on the firstborn son. But he switches his hand to the secondborn son. Because prophetically the father spoke clearly to, J- to, to Jacob that he was to bless Ephraim the younger. And Joseph doesn't like this. This is not.